Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome again to my uh, channel Dell up to the design so today uh, I'm gonna present you another video uh, in order to show you the performances of uh, PowerPoint in terms of 3d dimension so today I choose for you uh, this laboratory uh, on chip so first I will copy it in new PowerPoint project so I remove this slide and I can remove also the title and everything around like this yes I remove this also so control A so to select all ah sorry I have to change the keyboard to uh, French keyboard okay so control A uh, center so uh, I'm gonna take only the microfluidic system and the roof of the microfluidic system copy a new slide paste control a remove so I gonna paste this okay so first this is the inlet and the outlet I'll copy it and paste it in the other slide and as you can see it looks like uh, one device with the inlet and the outlet so I will show you this later so now the roof, I will move it to the top in order to show you the uh, architecture of the um, microfluidic uh, system. Copy and paste. And uh, if you can see here, if you choose a different view in uh, three dimension, you can see more details about the architecture of this uh, window of analysis I will move it to other side because you cannot see very well so now if you can see here if you move it to different view so you can have a different view of your uh, laboratory on chip so I remove this and I will show you uh, 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 the beginning uh, uh, from where we can start so first we have to insert this shape frame yes like this okay and uh, after I'm gonna copy the format paste it on this frame 3d dimension and after I will modify it uh, in order to have this geometry edit format and here you can modify all points edit format I'm gonna make it bigger first go right click and edit format and you can change point so if you move this point for example it will be moved in the frame as you can see there like this okay and I can do it from the other side also like this Okay, so we have to adjust adjust it as max as possible to a straight line. So I try to make the frame a little bit bigger to have the place. So here, uh, if uh, I click, right click on this line, and here I can add point, and I have another point here and if you click and drag so you can move this point and the geometry of your frame will be changed so right click add point okay i can add another point like this here so uh, to make it like triangle so add other point like this 
uh, I move this point to have the same level in the others and here I can add other points for the inlet of the laboratory on chip so here uh, I should change the format of the point that I add so there is smooth point or angle point so I choose the angle point and here I add another point and move it in order to have the inlet like this so. here also I will change the format angle in order to fix okay and I think I have to add another point here it's like this here one here and another one here okay So in order to make sure that uh, we have a, a nice uh, alignment so we can uh, insert uh, a line here like this and after we can insert a circle like this okay so I'll try to make it symmetric if you click on edit format edit shape okay so I have to move the circle just in order to make it closer to my design a little bit more okay and now I can adjust my points regarding the circle beneath my design okay okay the same thing <coughs> I will the same thing I will do it for this line I try to adjust it with the line that I have inserted and if you can see in the 3d dimension it looks nice and I can do the same from the other side okay so first we start with this frame and uh, I copy format to this okay and I go to edit and we can do this uh, format so if I click uh, right click and edit uh, in my laboratory and chip so you can see I have this uh, format with this point of the uh, microfluidic system so now um, I will uh, make the same in order to make the roof of the microfluidic system so first I will uh, insert a uh, rectangle like this and copy format yes and after I will adjust it to my laboratory on chip so 
can click ah I'm sorry because I have the same combination of keyboard K so uh, I have to deactivate the zoom tool exit okay so because uh, if you have uh, to move slowly you have to press control plus uh, a row uh, and you can move slowly okay and we s continue the adjustment uh, of the two piece of microfluidic system uh, and the roof okay once we finished we should go to uh, uh, 3d dimension properties of this uh, uh, shape so right click and 3d dimension properties okay and we can uh, select 3d dimension and we can select the depth and we make it zero we make it like then it's value zero or two point have to close this window and uh, I have to adjust it again so I will remove this first so I adjust the roof to the microfluidic system so now we finished the microfluidic system so uh, I will move to the other slide I copy the um, transducer so this is the image uh, origin of the image so uh, you can make it in the same direction like the microfluidic system so I copy the format of the microfluidic system and I paste it onto this image now I will uh, remove the, the frame, the blue, without frame, and I will send this back to uh, behind the microfluidic system, okay? And after I have to adjust the microelectrodes inside the window of analysis, okay? So this is uh, the transparency effect that you can apply uh, uh, with this tool uh, to ch uh, change the transparency of your uh, system you can make it like this uh, totally uh, opaque uh, dark and uh, you can increase the transparency uh, as much as you want so uh, if uh, to make the inlet so we have to insert this cylinder and I have to adjust it to the inlet and I yes, by always shift move copy and paste and I do the same to the other inlet and here also you can choose the transparency like this in order to have the same transparency of the microfluidic system so here you can choose without frame and after you can make the color that you want one piece so in the uh, second uh, part of this uh, video i gonna make the um, uh, how uh, to make the syringe and how the particles moves inside the uh, the laboratory on chip